hey there i just wanted to come on and share a dream that i had um last week uh i've been praying about it and um god's been slowly giving me his interpretation um for certain parts of the dream i had come to believe pretty firmly that we would have either mid-trip or post-trip um rapture um, i know i'm going to get a lot of comments and feedback and stuff just know that this is not something that I initially believed and it's something that I'm wrestling with. Here we go. The first part of the dream, I was in a grocery store with a lady um, I knew in the dream very well, but not in real life. I don't know who this person was. Um, she was dressed really nice and I knew she was wealthy. We were start. We started walking and she was going to a party and I was going somewhere else, but we weren't there to shop. Um, but then she started telling me that she had just found out they were making tornadoes or wind tunnels or something in the basement. And they, in the dream, I realized were like the people that were um, the people that were behind the scenes that were kind of running what was going on in the world and all the destruction and everything. Um, as far as the basement goes, I knew that that was some type of like hidden underground space, if you will. Um, not necessarily the actual basement. Um, we both got really frantic and started getting stuff. And we, um, at the same time, we both realized that we didn't have water stocked up. We went to get carts to, um, to get water bottles. Uh, then the scene changed and I was in a house. It was a nice house, but it, it was not my house. Um, it was a friend's house and our kids were playing. Um, this is a friend I do not know in real life. Her daughter was blind and just kept hugging my kids and kind of jumping on their legs and um, almost in a way that would seem kind of irritating. But my kids uh, were very patient with her and were kind to her and played with her and, and acknowledged that she was blind and just didn't really understand. Um, then a shadow came across the window of a man or a person and I went to hide with my youngest son and the little blind girl in the back bedroom. Um, it was a feeling like we were hiding out, like we knew someone, if we were to, if they were to see us, we would be caught. Yeah, so we had this feeling we were hiding out. The woman, my friend, went to check the door and see who it was um, and ended up being a friend of hers with five kids. They were people that we I also don't know in real life. Um, they were really wild, unruly kids and they were mean to the little blind girl. Um, so the little girl and her mom left. There was one point in the dream where I got really nervous about my kids being alone with them. And so I went to find out if they were alone in the bedroom with them. and. Um, the, the older kids of this family were in there and they were doing something bad. I don't know what they were doing, but I knew they were doing something bad, but my kids weren't in there. What I felt God gave me the interpretation of that was is that the, those children and that woman and, and her husband, those, that family were kind of like an image of the world, um, of the people of the world, of, of people living in the world. And then my kids were kind of like this picture of people living for Christ and kind of where even where their hearts are at at this moment in time. So then uh, we started having dinner and I went to get my dinner and I took five small pieces of steak. Like I had cut up five small pieces of steak like you would do for a little child. Um, and that's all I had on my plate. And then um, the lady with the wild kids came um, and kept trying to steal my food. Um, while she was eating a whole steak with one hand. And so she was like kind of pushing me out of the way. I was trying to hide my plate and she would kind of like reach around and it was very like mocking and mean and bullying. Like she didn't need my food, but she was gonna steal it anyways. And she thought it was hilarious. Uh, yeah, so eventually she did steal my food and I got really upset. We had just had um, our kids all do a gift exchange and her kid got a watch from mine while the other gifts were really cheap. Um, I yelled at her and told her to keep the $80 watch and I went to leave. Um, I was looking for my other shoe and my oldest son said it was outside because one of the wild kids was playing with it. So I went outside and there was like snow. I remember not wanting to like go out there without shoes on. Um, and I went to get it from the street and, a, and um, these fighter jets started flying over and everything got gray and felt like war was about to hit. Um, I was all of a sudden holding my youngest son and my oldest looked at me and said, it's happening. And we both knew in that moment 
that um, the tribulation was happening. That's what we both knew. We were both aware of like the end was here. The tribulation was beginning. Um, so he ran inside and um, in my head, I knew he was getting my daughter um, so that we could go in our van and get out of here and prepare for the tribulation. But then while my oldest was in the house, in the house or wherever it was, my youngest said his head really hurt and it was almost like red and like looked a little indented maybe, but, um, it made, and he said it made him throw up. I got scared and thought one of the other kids had hit him with something, but the air pressure outside started to change and it felt like my head and my body was being compressed. Like yeah, it was like an, in a compression changer, chamber or something. It was crazy. Um, I started to panic and could only walk in slow motion. Um, like it, if you've ever had those dreams where you're trying to get somewhere and you just, your body just won't move, right? Um, but felt like my body was being pulled at the same time. The interpretation I got of this was that this force, whatever this force was, was um, from God. Like it was the um, power and the presence of God, um, falling to the earth. And it was like, Oh, it was so powerful. It was overtaking our bodies. Um, and then my youngest, he looked at me and he said, he's coming. And then in that moment, I knew that the rapture was happening. Um, so I started looking up and trying to get to my other kids and I was screaming in excitement that it's the rapture. Like I was like so excited to yell for them and to tell them like, it, it's actually the rapture. It's actually the rapture. Um, so I got to a set of double doors and all these people started piling outside and my other two kids huddled together with me um, and we were crying and looking up. Um, my oldest son whispers to me, I can't believe it's before the tribulation. Then the pressure on everybody's bodies was so intense and we were all forced outside and to our knees. So everybody, non-believers, believers, everybody was forced outside and um, they had no control over it. And they were all, we were all forced down to our knees. Some people were pointing up like us and others were terrified. They were like just completely terrified because they didn't, like they were seeing what was going on, but they didn't know what it was. Um, all of us with our hands pointed to the sky were trying to help um, and to yell, he's coming, but we couldn't speak. We wanted to say Jesus is here and it's a rapture, but we, um, like it would not come out of our mouths. Like I could feel it in me, but then when I went to say it, like my mouth was shut, like I wasn't allowed to speak. Um, the clouds were changing and were turning into the image of God. So this is something that's hard to even explain. Like I didn't see God himself, but the clouds were in the image of him. So his face, everything like this outline, it was massive in the sky. Um, I was pulled up with all three of my kids in my arms. We were all kind of huddled together. I remember having coins clutched tightly in my hand because I was still upset about my dinner and the expensive watch. But as I was floating up, the money just dissolved in my hand. I remember being worried for a second that I couldn't hold my youngest tight enough. I realized how high we were going up and he might drop, but then I felt like we were floating and I knew he wouldn't fall, like I just had peace wash over me. The thing I want to explain about being pulled up, that actual rapture moment, like I felt that in the dream, like it was so real, more real than anything I've ever experienced in my life. I remember being completely shocked that it was actually happening to me. Like I remember like as I was sitting there with my youngest and before even getting pulled up, like I remember thinking like, I knew this would happen, but I didn't really believe that it would actually happen, if that makes sense. But like, this is a feeling like I've been trying to go back to, like it was so hard to wake up and to like live a normal life after experiencing that and realizing like it didn't happen yet. And so I've been even praying for more dreams just so I can experience that feeling again of being taken to him. And, and we didn't even get there yet. Um, I woke up actually as we were floating up. With that said, um, I just want to urge you to get your life right with God. That if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, as God in the flesh, that you would turn your life over to him because the time is so short. Like we are in the end and he's coming back for his bride. And I don't know when that is. I just pray with all my heart that you would get 
right with God and stop living on that fence, stop being like that other family that's dabbling in this world and indulging in this world and lusting after this world and, and mocking people who are believing even in the coming of Christ, right? And um, that you would just choose. You have to choose a side or it's going to be chosen for you. So um, I love you. God bless you. Have a great day.